So I made a previous video about VRChat's webcam tracking feature, which allows you to track your hands and your face and a bunch of other things if you're a desktop user. Well, that was exclusive to VRChat Plus for a while, but it is now out of Plus, so anyone can use it. And I wanted to make a video showing how you could use it for VTubing. The great thing about this is it allows you to use any of your avatars, like especially if you have custom avatars. And also there's, I mean, VRChat already has a bunch of cool features built into it that you can toggle on if you are VTubing or anything like that. So I wanted to show like uh, one of the methods I was using for VTubing. Now, I'm someone that doesn't uh, make use of OBS. Yeah, I know, shame on me. But um, if you do use OBS to capture uh, when you're streaming and doing your VTubing, the usual method from what I've learned is um, VR check camera has a spout like toggle on that it has built into it. So you would toggle that on and you need to get a plugin for OBS, this spout plugin. So you would uh, utilize that with OBS and then toggle on the spout stream on your VR check camera while in desktop mode. And that would allow you to capture your your output from your camera to your capture software. Now, if you're using XSplit or any other capture method, if for some reason you can't use the Spout plugin, uh, here's another method that you can use. So this is a world called Selfie and Green Screen, and the creator made this specifically um, since the, from what I experienced, since um, I'm mainly a VR user, but occasionally I need to use desktop. And what I notice is I'm not able to use the stream camera in desktop in the same way that I'm able to use it in VR because in VR, my stream camera outputs um, to my capture uh, software with no problem. When I'm in desktop, it doesn't work the same way. Uh, like I said, this world is called selfie in green screen. And uh, what it does is it just shows your avatar. I'm sure it uses some like mirroring method or something, but it will show your avatar in front of the green screen. There are some desktop controls that you can use. Like you can pan the camera. There's also G toggles the static camera. Um, and then tab would be to show and hide controls. And then of course you can, you can move yourself normally like you would in, uh, in desktop and VR chat. But um, I'm going to show what this looks like now uh, on an actual stream that I did. Because all you have to do, uh, if you're outputting this to XSplit or whatever other capture software, if you're using this method, is all you have to do is capture VR chat and then just chroma out the, the green screen and it works perfectly. Let me show you an example of what that looks like and me actually VTubing with my avatar while I was streaming. But uh, hi, Hexen, how are you doing? Oh yeah, hi, hi. Look. Actually, me and Hexen tested this the other day. The, um... So now I'm actually streaming with it. I was doing, like, a local recording tr testing this out, but now I'm actually, like, properly streaming trying this method with the, the VTubing, so... Now there's two other methods that you can use if, uh, for some reason you want to capture um, the lighting in a world, or you want to capture the world itself, but it's not totally ideal compared to using like being able to have the spout plugin because the the spout plugin in obs would allow you to actually capture things just like you would in vr when you're using a stream camera um so another option would be um you can utilize the mirror which is what i was doing in the beginning of this video so usually so if you toggle the mirror on and then uh turn on grab reposition it how you want then you turn off the toggle and you'll want to go into, um, you can mask out the world. So depending on what you want to do here. Now, the only problem with this method is uh, my hands still show up because I'm using the mirror. So my hands are still going to show up in the view. So if you're capturing this on a stream, your, your actual hands and not the mirror hands are going to show up on the stream. Um, so, I mean, maybe you could crop it or do something like that. I don't know. Another method is using the face mirror. You have to make sure your HUD is on for this. And, uh, it'll show up in the corner. The only issue is, once again, hands will show up. But at least, I guess this is more in the corner, so you're probably going to be, uh, maybe getting the, the hands being in view a lot less versus having, like, the middle, uh, the mirror in the middle of the screen. Uh, so you might have to remedy that. The avatar showing up in the, the face mirror is seems lower quality. 
but I'm maybe that'll be fine compared to like the other method. I think the whole highest quality method that you can use though is going to the the selfie and green screen world though and capturing that um if for some reason you are not able to use the spout method uh to capture your avatar for vtubing but i hope this helps and uh happy vtubing if you use this uh i will say just as an advisory depending on the games that you're capturing when you're vtubing of course um depending on the world that you're in uh, if you're using this method for VTubing, that can stress out your computer because, you know, it's running something on top of other things. So just keep that in mind. Being in the selfie and green screen world would probably be the best because there's not much in there. So just keep that in mind if you're going to use VR chat uh, on top of anything else when you're streaming. And like I said, happy VTubing. Hope this video helped you.